think we, we look at the show as like an evolving organism and the relationships have to change and the amount of uh, what each character knows about the machine and about what each of the other operatives is doing has to always be shifting, changing, and evolving. We have to pick up right where we left off. We've got so much to talk about. Harold Finch has been abducted by the diabolical root. John Reese is a bit lost right now. There's no one around to interpret the number of the weekend. At the same time, he's lost the one person who sort of rejuvenated him and given him a purpose in life. He's got a real issue. Uh, the man who interpreted uh, the number that was distributed by the machine is gone, and now Reese is a bit adrift. Him looking into the camera will start to tease the question, is it a one-way communication, or is it deeper than that? He's in danger now. Because he was working for you. Fusco and Carter know about each other now. They realize they were both working with Reese, and although in different capacities. The guy in the suit. What did you say? The guy in the suit, the one you've been chasing. Look, I know this is going to sound crazy, but they seem to know when people are in trouble. What you're going to see right out of the gate is how that dynamic changes uh, and shifts in a really interesting way. I think if you envision the first season almost as a, you know, a bit of a triptych through the past of Reese and his, his relationship with Jessica and what happened and we found out how he sort of wound up where he was when we met him in the pilot, which you know, both characters having fallen off the grid. We feel like we kind of answered that question uh, in terms of John Reese, but what we haven't answered is what happened to Harold Finch's partner, Nathan Ingram. Everyone is relevant to someone. You would know that if you had anyone in your life you cared about. How did Finch wind up with his limp? How did he get where he was? You realize towards the end of the season that there was in fact a significant other in Harold Finch's life at one time, and for his own reasons he felt like he had to walk away from it. And I think that's something that we're gonna explore further in season two. This is a mystery you do not want to solve. Knowing the answer has cost me something I value more than my own life. The season premiere is called The Contingency. It's a roller coaster ride. We have an introduction of a couple interesting new adversaries. People are going to start to come to understand about how the machine works and the depth and, and range of, of its power is going to become in a much sharper focus right out of the gate in the first episode. We never want it to be a show where people can't drop in and figure out what's going on in the show. But at the same time, we still want to reward long-term viewers who want something more than a standalone case. That's, we don't want to be that show. It's going to be fun.